Hello everyone, I'm Chaz Bryant. Welcome to Carolina Warrior TV and our recap of Fight Lab 15, Epicenter in Uptown Show. Great fights by the Warriors, they put it all on the line. Let's go to the highlights. First fight was between Cody Wells and Chris Smith, two guys with two different styles of fighting. Cody Wells, the guy who's so aggressive in the cage versus Chris Smith, the guy who has, has so much experience in there. Big slams by Cody and Chris Smith with great striking, but in the end it went to the judges' hands and the winner came out with Cody Wells getting the decision. Let's take it to our guy, Mike the Kid Pal, with the interview. All right, I'm here with Cody Wells, who just won the opening fight. Big C, That's right, you happy with how that fight played out? I noticed you were working your hands a lot, showing off that renegade hand speed. Damn right, damn right. I was happy with my performance except for uh, not being able to get up from the bottom, man. I never wrestled, you know, we went to Kannapolis, wrestling wasn't big, I played basketball. No, nah, wrestling, wrestling wasn't that big at Kannapolis. But uh, let's, look at, let's look at the fact that, that you were taken down in the third round. What, did you ever feel in trouble by, by Chris Smith's uh, jiu-jitsu? No, not at all. I didn't feel in trouble with his jiu-jitsu at all. Actually, I feel that my jiu-jitsu is probably better than his. He just trains that jiu-jitsu in school, you know? But, I mean, it was a tough fight, man. I knew he was going to come in in shape, ready to bang. I knew he was tough, man. I hit him with a couple shots. Like, I thought it was done, you know? Yeah, like, a couple that, that uppercut and it dropped him against the fence. And I went to rain him, but he went right to his back, controlled the arm, man. And you know I finished two of my three fights with a rear naked. Like, I just couldn't get a hook in, man. He's you know? good. He's good. He's, 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 he's uh... Experience. You can't, you can't be mad at a decision over that, but uh, congratulations. I've got a question for you. My dance move? We're not dancing. Oh, today. I want to show him my sprinkler. You got? Oh, oh, you got a sprinkler? <laughs> All right, then, then break it down. What's the question? Okay, the question is, this song you walked out to? Yeah. Is this something? Is this something that's part of you, or, or oh, yeah. what do we have? Oh yeah, I walk out with that song every time. I love uh, the first 50 Cent CD. Like I've struggled in my life a lot. I've been a lot of adversity. You know, I, I've struggled with a lot of things, both uh, by my own choice and not by my own choice. So. I just use it as uh, inspiration, you know. Don't push me. I done been pushed too much, and I'm going to bless you back, baby. Don't well, push I appreciate me. it. Thank you for putting on Kannapolis as you, always. Kid, baby. I'm ready to see you defend that belt, August man. August 6th, baby. August, August 6th. Hey, I'll probably be fighting them, too. Yes, sir. We'll be on the same card. Thank you, Thanks, Cody. Fight Lab. Thanks for having me, baby. I'll be back. I'll be back. Our second fight of the night between Tony Rogers and Jasa Pita. This fight was a little slow in the first round, but quickly picked up. Tony Rogers will sink in an arm bar, winning it. Alright, I'm here with Tony Rogers. Who he earned, yeah, gonna work. He earned a victory tonight. Hey, come on. You're taking it to the position with what you're relying on? Yeah, um, on stand-up right in the first round, I threw a kick and he threw a kick, tied him with my knee and it took a lot out of me. I couldn't throw any kicks and punches, so I had to rely on my jiu-jitsu every time he took me down. So, so, so you're going to play, was your game playing a jitch or was it a stand? It was a stand. Okay. So, so you, you overcame adversity. Yeah. What can you say about your opponent? Uh, he's uh, real strong. I cut a lot of weight. He had some weight on me. I didn't cut any weight for this fight. I walked around at 170. He walks under 185. And um, I just had to give it everything I had to be able to get that Kamara. And I seen it there, hand on the mat. So I went for it. All right. Now, now when you were when you were walking out, what did you walk out to? What was your walk out to? Oh, uh, it was a uh, rise today by um, Alter Bridge. So, so why did you choose that song? Is that a training song or is that? It's, it rise today. Um, uh, I like the name of it. It's very motivation. You, I love that song. It, 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 it motivates the hell out of me. That was a good one. <laughs> uh, anyway, congratulations, man. Thank you. Third fight between Cody Wilson and Oliver Charles. Oliver Charles doing some vain for the first round. However, it would be Cody Wilson.
comes up with a guillotine choke in the second round. Now the big boys, Chris Davis versus Ryan Houston. A lot of banging going on, as we would expect. However, Chris Davis coming in, getting that KO of Ryan Houston in the first round. Let's see it again on the replay. Chris Davis talks to Mike Powell. All right, I'm here with Big Chris Davis, who just yeah. obliterated somebody's face. And I've got to ask you, was that your game plan going in? Yes, just go sir. ahead and set him down. Game plan was let him come in, relax, fill him out. I know he wanted to make it a brawl with me. I mean, I watched him fight. He just wanted a street fight. We don't train at it, renegade fighting, fighting facilities. We work hard. I want to thank Coach Phil Wills, best coach in the area. Zach Klaus, Ricky Rainey, the whole Renegade team, man, for getting me ready for this fight. All right, I've got a serious question for you. Belt time, baby. That belt. Belt you time. You want it? You yeah, know who it. has it? Nobody. Nobody I got has. it next. Who, who do you want to fight to get that belt? Well, it looks like I'm fighting Ryan over here. Ryan? Yep. Ryan, Ryan Freeman. Ryan Freeman. Yep, in August. Okay. So it'll so be a, it'll be a burner. That's for your belt. That's for the belt. Back on the epicenter. Back at the epicenter. You ready for that? I'm ready. Yes, sir. You're fighting too, right? I am. I will be there. I will be there. It's a deadly combination right here. Right there. All right, your song, your walkout song. Why, yes. Why'd you pick that? Just good work. Because I love music? heavy metal. You just love heavy love metal. Love heavy metal. I haven't asked you this yet. Because I, I have. Can you dance? <laughs> Look at it. He beat me to it. <laughs> I knew he was going to ask me this time. Thank you, Chris. The Bantam weight title between Pitt Crowder and Huber Garcia. Kenneth Crowder, so smart, so tactical. He would take a lot of the slams Kenneth and Pitt Crowder would take. Would be over in his corner so he can get the instruction from his guys. And that worked wonders for him, especially in the third round when the ref stepped in after a lot of big strikes. Kenneth Pitt Crowder gets his first title. All right, I'm here with Kenneth Pitt Crowder, the new Fight Lab 135 pound champion. You're wrestling, man. You're wrestling. Yeah. You've wrestled for five years. Yeah. Do you feel you're ever going to stop getting better? Because I remember in your last fight with Woodard, I like Antonio Woodard. There were heat between you two. But your wrestling was amazing. It looked 30 times better tonight. All I could do is say thanks to my team. My team is the Ricky on, and we train hard in there. And if it wasn't for them, my wrestling, it wouldn't be as where it wouldn't be where it is today. And they push us hard in there. 
from jiu-jitsu to wrestling to striking, they make sure we go 100%. When, even if it's yoga or if it's circuit training, we go 100% at a region. The, the yoga pose. What, what do you what do you call that pose exactly? Oh, that's, it's a triangle. It's a triangle. Yeah. So you guys are like the Illuminati of MMA in North Carolina, huh? Yeah. I yeah, guess I can, you can say that. I can see it. You guys are picking people off left and right. Are you excited to watch your homeboy Christian Sennett? Yeah, I, I got to get back there to the back now and change clothes so I can get back out here and watch him. All right, Kenneth, I'm going to ask you one question. When Kenneth Crowder goes in the club and he, he goes and hit the cat daddy, how does he do it? Uh, I, don't really, I don't really do too much dancing. You don't dance? No. Uh, All right, well, well, here, here. your walkout song. <laughs> tell, me, tell me why you're walking out today, Eminem. Uh -huh. Oh, because that's, that's just the feeling I feel. Like when I'm training, like I don't eat, I don't sleep. All I think is that one fight. And for this one fight I've been thinking about for what? About a month and a half now? That's all I think about. I eat, sleep, and breathe fighting. Always a class act, Ken. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have you. And what turned out to be the final fight of the night, the flyweight title between Forrest Brown and Tyler Bogdan. Two guys who've only had one fight underneath them, but a lot of big bangs and a lot of big punches. As you see right there, Tyler Bogdan, he won some more. However, he would get some more. And you see here a slip by him, and the referee stopped the fight. It was controversial. You be the judge. Forrest Brown talks to Mike Powell. All right, we've got Forrest Brown here, the new 25-pound champion here at Fight Live. But, you know, that, that fight ended up some controversy. He was definitely rocked. I watched it. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and ask it because I know it's eventually going to get asked. Would you be comfortable doing that again? Oh, definitely. For sure. Anytime. Would you Would you say he deserved it considering oh, he did yeah, bounce? He got right me good with one shot. So just off that bat, he deserved another shot. All right, well, look, what was your game plan going in? Exactly, just what I did. Just stand back, wait for him to do something, and counter off of him. So, so we've got a, we got a confidence. We're gonna get you out of this rain as fast as we can. Right. But does Forrest Brown dance? No, he don't dance. No, he don't dance. Maybe you get one of these uh, Fight Lab girls over here. We might work something out. He wants to dance with a Fight Lab <laughs> girl. All right, what about what about your walkout song? Because I can't get you to dance. I just always. Uh, what about it? What, why do you walk out of that song? Uh, I, ever since I was little, I love that song. I was like 10 years old, 12 years old, so I had to be my walkout song. That's all you can ask for. I appreciate it, buddy. Go get some clothes on. Let's turn the And unfortunately, that was the final fight of the night as the rains came in, as they often do in the springtime in North Carolina. The storms came in, the winds came in, the lightning, and the North Carolina Boxing Commission had to pull the plug and make the decision. A lot of great words were ready to see out there that night. However, it just wasn't to be, and they'll get their chance later on down the road. I'd like to thank you guys at Fight Lab, and we have one more thing to say. Love you, Fight Lab. One, six, one, five. Yeah!